The ratio of land to water on earth is 3 is to 7. If the ratio of land to water in the northern hemisphere is 2 is to 3, what is the ratio of land to water in the southern hemisphere? If we represent the whole earth as E, then the first line of the problem states that the ratio of land to water on earth is 3 to 7. And what that means is, if we consider the whole earth as 3 plus 7 or 10 parts, then 3 out of those 10 parts are land and 7 out of those 10 parts are water. So we can write an equation for the total amount of land on earth, which would be 3 by 3 plus 7 multiplied by E, and that gives us 3E by 10. And similarly, we can write an equation for the total amount of water on earth, which is W is equal to 7 by 3 plus 7 multiplied by E, and that comes to 7E by 10. Now, let's come to the second line of the problem, which states the ratio of land to water in the northern hemisphere is 2 ish to 3. Now, what is the northern hemisphere? It's essentially one half of the earth. So, if we represented earth by E, then the northern hemisphere will be E by 2. Now, the second line of the problem states that the ratio of land to water in the northern hemisphere is 2 ish to 3 which means that if we represent the northern hemisphere by 5 parts, so 5 comes from 2 plus 3, so we just add the numbers in the ratio, 2 plus 3, 5 parts, then 2 out of those 5 parts are land, and 3 out of those 5 parts are water. So we can write an equation for the amount of land in the northern hemisphere, which would be 2 by 2 plus 3 multiplied by E by 2. And that comes to E by 5 when you simplify the fractions. And similarly, you can write an equation for the amount of water in the Northern Hemisphere, which comes to 3 by 2 plus 3 multiplied by E by 2. And that comes to 3E by 10. So we know the total amount of land on earth in terms of E. We also know the amount of land in the northern hemisphere in terms of E. If we subtract these two, or if we take the difference of these two, we'll get the land on southern hemisphere in terms of E. And that comes to E by 10. And similarly, if we take the difference of the total water on earth and water in the northern hemisphere, we will get the amount of water in the southern hemisphere, which comes to 40 upon 10. Now, if we take the ratio of these two, E gets cancelled out. Uh, the 10 in the denominator of each term gets cancelled out, and we are left with 1 upon 4, or 1 ish to 4.